Today I'm going to answer an interesting question, which is, should you get a financial advisor and what is better than a financial advisor to get? This is, I think, really important for people who are early in investing or they're interested in investing in new asset classes. Maybe they've accumulated a bunch of wealth. I was having a conversation with a client earlier today and we were kind of discussing this point. And so, yeah, let's dive into it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm Michael from Offshore Citizen. And if you are interested in help with setting up your company internationally, relocating internationally, optimizing your taxes, protecting your assets, getting greater freedom and options in life, please reach out to us. You can book a call, calendar.com forward slash Michael Dash Rosmer, link in the description below. We can help you figure out what's the best solution for you and help to implement it. You can also send a message to our website, it's offshorecitizen.net or offshorecapitalist.com. Okay, uh, so I have very negative opinion about financial advisors. I think they are generally terrible. And part of the reason is that they're usually financial salespeople. They're usually not good investors themselves. Uh, by the way, maybe we call them an investment advisor, right? Do you need an investment advisor? Uh, the answer is probably not. <laughs> probably they aren't going to do a very good job for you. And so as a result, the alternative, the question then becomes, well, hang on, if I don't know very well and I can't get an investment advisor, what should I get? You know, should I go and get an accountant, a lawyer? And the truth is accountants and lawyers, the problem is generally they aren't people who are investing. They generally haven't done well in investing. And so why are you going to them for investment advice? You know, uh, they're going to generally be very risk averse and they're likely to give you the wrong information. Now, the person I was talking to earlier today uh, had done really well investing in crypto. And I said, you know, how many of the lawyers or accountants would have told you to invest in crypto? How many of them were investing in crypto at the time when you did? You did really well off of it. They didn't. You know, what does that tell you? Is that the type of person you should be taking advice from? Like it's steering you in the wrong direction, right? So here is my suggestion as an alternative. I think that what you generally want to look for instead of investment advisors is co-investors, okay? How does this work? Uh, there are certain people who are consistently really good at investing, okay? And the truth is you're not going to know this when you first meet them. You need to kind of hang around them. But these are people who are putting their own money on the line. They have skin in the game. If the investment does well, they're going to make money. If the investment does poorly, they're going to lose money. And you should look to co-invest with those people. So instead of looking for somebody to advise you on how to invest, look for people who you can co-invest with and only invest when they are investing with you or rather only invest with them. Now these people often will help you to, they'll help to teach you, they'll help to give you some insights, etc. cetera. Uh, they can look at deals for you as you go along. If you get a deal, you can send it to them and they'll take a look and if they like it and would like to invest, that's a good indicator that maybe you should. This is the way to go, in my opinion, okay? So look for co-investors instead of investment advisors. And I don't mean by that, hey, listen, go get your friend to invest with you. That's not co-investors. What I mean is go find somebody who's good at investing in a particular segment and recognize that generally investors do well in certain segments. For example, you have some people who are good real estate investors in Florida and some real estate investor, good real estate investors in London. And you'll have some who are good stock market investors and some who are good venture capital or angel investors and some who are good crypto investors and so on and so forth, right? Find people who are good at that. Now, how do you know if they're good? Uh, big, big misnomer for people. I remember this is like an infuriating point for me. I remember uh, back in 2017, I had a client who told me that another client was going and hanging out with some crypto guru. And I said, well, hang on, what makes somebody a crypto guru? And they're like, oh, they made $5 million off of this. I'm like, that means zero, zero, okay? So understand that money lies, okay? Money lies. How does this work? It works in the way that having made a lot of money doesn't necessarily make you a good investor. It could make you lucky. Most importantly, it is more a function in most cases of how much you invested as opposed to how good you were at investing, okay? In other words, what is the difference between the person who, in, who made 5 million and 500,000? Potentially, it's just how much they invested, factor of 10 higher. If you did a 10X on your money, in both cases, they could have both invest in the exact same thing. They could have got a 10x return. The one who invested 50,000 made less than the one who invested 500,000. Does that make him smarter? No, it does not. The person who is smarter is the person, who, or no, uh, the person who you know has better judgment in these cases, which is probably a better term, 
uh, is the one who does so consistently. Okay, so when I'm looking for somebody who I want to co-invest with, I'm not looking for somebody who's had a one-off win. I'm looking for somebody who consistently over time exercises good judgment, doesn't lose money, and hits some good wins. That's what I'm looking for. So now the question that you might ask is, well, how do I find those people, right? And I think the whole point is you kind of have to be patient. So you're going to network. Uh, when you're networking people with people, you can ask them, hey, what are you investing in? What are you investing in aside from the thing that I'm investing in? And who do you know who's really good at this? And when somebody brings you deals, right, you can say, great, I want to meet some of the co-investors. I want to see who these people are. Now, as you talk to those people, you know, I would say probably don't invest with them right away. <laughs> Instead, what you want to do is just watch them, stay in touch with them, see how the investments that they do do. Like, results don't lie, okay? That's it, results don't lie. Although actually, they could be, you know, of course, we can distort it with randomness. Um, so yeah, that would be my basic suggestion. I don't think you necessarily want lawyers or accountants or investment advisors to help you make investment decisions. I think you need experienced investors who you're gonna have to find through, first of all, networking and relationship building, but also through a process of watching them for an extended period of time and don't feel a need to deploy capital really quickly uh, you can do that gradually over time. So I hope that helps. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you have questions or comments, put them in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter, and I'm going to look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.